Today we are cooking. We are cooking with Don. I got the chicken fixing to go in. We got the brown rice in the back. We got some green beans. Green beans or peas. Peas. Green peas. Yeah, peas. Okay, this is for the chicken. And then I'm going to go ahead and get the Texas toast going. So. Um, I gotta turn the oven on for that. I think, I don't know, we'll just turn it to 400 and if I need to adjust it. Is there anything in it? No. So how are you guys doing today? Y'all have a, a good day so far? I've been working out, I've been working out in that, in that garage all day. Um, putting up our new shelves. And working on that, um, that jib crane. Have you guys seen that video yet? The one of uh, me working on the jib crane? It's uh... I hope that thing pays off for me. It's going to be pretty cool. Um, but Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Before you put down garlic bread, you need to um, put down some type of oil or spray. But, where? okay. Vegetable oil, that's what we need right here. So you need a little vegetable oil. Okay, you don't want a lot, just enough. And then you can place your bread on there evenly. So that way, you know, it cooks good. See, like that. Alrighty. And then we'll wait for that to preheat and we'll come around. Now this is a new method right here. This is, see how it says boil in a bag? Yeah, that's exactly right. It's uh. It's boiling rice, but it's in a bag. And I'm just, I'm not sure if I like that idea about putting plastic in with my food, but they say that it's USDA grade safe plastic, edible plastic food bag. So it's fully biodegradable and edible. So it's probably made out of like plant cells or something. But okay, so this is getting ready for this. Let's check on our chicken. Oh yes, our chicken's ready to go in. It's still a little frozen, but that's good. That's that's okay. All right, so let's get this up. Remember, you don't want to cross contaminate nothing. So whatever hand touches the chicken stays dirty. All right, so let's just. I guess I can just set it right there for the time being. Okay, I'm just gonna put it in, put it in, and then we're gonna season it, of course. Can't forget about seasoning it. And you don't want to cook your chicken very high. You just want to cook it kind of a, a low. And I think I may need to add, oh, hold on, hold on. I gotta wash my hands. I got to wash my hands. Cause you don't want no uh, salmonella, nothing like that. So oh, we put our chicken in and it's going. I think, Mom, what do you think? You think I should add just a little bit more oil to that? You see? Just a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna add some seasoning to it here in just a second. You want me to put salt and pepper in it? Okay. You got any other recommendations? I got it on low. Let's see here. We're gonna need. Where's all this? Where's the spatulas at? Jin's done move everything. I guess I'll use uh, the tongs for now. Okay, where do I got this set to? We need to turn it up just a little bit if we plan on eating it tonight. Okay, now for the seasonings. So.
Yes, sir. Coming along. We need to turn it up, though, a little higher. And I'm going to get rid of this. You want to try to keep your uh, your area as clean and neat as possible. Mine's absolutely not what is kicking up our chicken is. Now you don't want to burn it but I definitely want to put a little more heat into it. Our green beans are looking like they're coming along. Turn it down just a little bit. Alright and then We'll check back up on these in here in a few minutes and then looks like we're preheating pretty good. I can start to feel some of the heat coming out of there. So I'm going to go ahead and drop those in, get this cleaned up, go ahead and throw it away because if you clean up as, if you clean up as you're cooking, it's less for you to do once you're done because you'll already kind of cleaned up behind you like I don't need any more olive oil I don't think. So I can put that back and I'm done with the vegetable spray so I can put I can put that back you know what I mean so now I can put the box back but I'm using that so anyway we just kind of want to don't want it to get too hot because that oil will start to pop and that's not what you want let's uh let's give our green beans a good stir all right, so these are Teflon coated. You don't want to use metal with Teflon. That's a no-no. You want to use plastic with Teflon. That way you don't scratch the bottom because if you scratch the bottom of it, then you're going to get that Teflon in your food. And trust me, you don't you don't want that. That's not no good. Make sure there's plenty of water getting in there with our rice in the back. I got the rice on slow because we're not in any hurry for that. And these green beans, they need to, they're still a little bit hard. So they'll take a little bit while. That's how you know green beans are done, is because they're soft. You can feel them in the water as you move the spoon through. You know, you can feel them, either they're hard or they're soft. The softer they are, they're done. That means they're done when they're soft. Okay, so let's put that back. I need to go ahead and season this side again, and let's put our bread in. So we just went ahead and re-seasoned that side, and I turned our chicken over. Let's get, now, here's a good tip. Turn all of your handles inwards on your pots, so that way you don't accidentally knock it over or hit it, and then all of that burns on you second great tip when you go to open this oven all right when you open the oven all of that hot air that's in there just rushes out and just blasts you in the face you don't want that because that sucks so what you do is you sidestep it open it up real quick let that hot air go by you so it don't hit you in the face put it in close it and set the timer. Now what I would like to do with our chicken is add some butter to it. So I'm gonna take a you know, decent little scoop there, about that much, and add it right there. And with the, add it right in here with our chicken. chicken okay a little bit more butter all right so now we got butter cooking with the chicken and you want to cook chicken slow because the outsides will cook faster than the inside and then you'll just burn and have hard chicken by the time it actually becomes cooked so you want to cook it slow and steady with enough heat that's the secret to chicken and you just gotta watch it. Make sure you're constantly flipping it and stuff. When one side's starting to get pretty brown, you wanna give them a lift. And then also, if you want the chicken to go faster, 
you can cut these pieces up. If you cut it up into smaller pieces, it'll, it'll cook way fast. How's our green beans doing? They're coming along nicely. Let's see if they are soft. And I also put butter in these too. Butter and a little bit of pepper is what I put in here. Yeah, they're starting to get real soft. Yep, they're almost done. Good deal. How's our rice looking? Our rice is still cooking. Let me see. Yeah, the bags are getting softer. Uh, it feels softer. It's just a big pouch of rice, and I can kind of feel if it's crunchy or not. And it's starting to feel a little bit soft, so. Alright. Oh, yes, our timer. Um, let's see here. Let's turn on our light. Boom. And see how our bread is. It's up there at the top. Okay, so let's just set a, a small timer. Let's just say uh, it's already been there for a few minutes. Bread, you can't cook all the way on one side. You're going to have to cook it for about three or four. Cook it for about three or four minutes, and then you want to pull it out, flip them, and then put them back in for another three to four minutes, and then they should come out just right. So really all you get to do is just kind of sit here and wait for this to cook. Add a little more seasoning. Usually, if I had a little more time and knew I was going to do this, I would take the chicken and soak it in Italian dressing. Take a big freezer bag, put all the chicken in it, fill it up with Italian dressing, and then put it in the refrigerator for like 12 hours. Let all that chicken absorb all of that flavor, and it is so good. Here. A little bit of that right there goes goes real well with this. Real well. Um, you can soak it if you like, whatever works. Um, I just take a little bit of it. And just pour it in there. Get the dressing in there, and then mix your chicken up with it. It'll add some good wholesome flavor to it. Go ahead and flip that. Nope, that one. Yeah, that one needs to be flipped. How about that one? Yep, yeah, that one needs to be flipped. Okay. All right. What I do is, is I got my cutting board got my cutting board out and I got my knife I'm gonna pull the chicken out cut it up throw it back in the pan to finish cooking That's our alarm for our bread. Okay, so now since our chicken is all cut up, we want to go ahead and put it back in the thingamajigger. Put it back in the pan because it needs to finish cooking. And then, let's see here. I'm gonna turn that on low and what we're gonna do Probably add a little water to it. Probably be alright. Add a little water. Let's see here. How is our rice doing? I think that rice is done. I mean, it's it's a lot softer than what it was. I can't even flip it. It's so soft. Ugh, there we go. How's that? Is that better? And our peas are done. Oh, let me turn that off. Okay, so our bread. Yes, let's check the bread. All right, sidestep the heat wave. Pull your bread out. Oh no, I dropped the towel. All right, pull your bread out. Okay. 
be wary of where you set it because you don't want it to go nowhere. All right, let's just grab it. Flip. Uh oh. Flip. 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 See those? Those are coming out real nice. Okay, so you want to put those back in. I'd say for, whoops, got a little mix around, that's all right. I'd say I'd put those back in there for at least a couple more minutes. All right, how's our chicken coming along? It's coming. See, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this with the brown rice, but what I need to do is cover it and let it finish cooking. Let's see here, I need a I need a big lid, something like that, that'll work. Okay, let's turn it up a little. So cook our green bean. All right, so I got our bread done. It came out beautifully, if I might say so. Looks real good. And our green beans, what I do is once the green beans are completely done, you just take a little bit of butter on the spoon and then you just mix it in, but you gotta be careful not to scratch the bottom because this is steel on a Teflon pan. All right, so now our chicken is over here. Um, it's ready to go. So let's, um, let's put this on a plate. Okay, so I finished. So this is dinner. You have brown rice with seasonings, garlic bread, chicken, Italian, and green beans. So let's go ahead and make us a plate. What you do is you take a little bit of the rice, put it on your plate, put the chicken on top, take a bread and put some veggies on the sides and you're ready to go. And voila, that's dinner. So give me a like guys and leave me a comment if you like it. And as always, you guys be cool and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.